Glad to be here, though. Glad to be alive. I am so glad to be alive because I didn't always used to be a comedian. I used to be a cop. Can you believe that? Yeah, I booed it too. I booed me too. I can't believe they let me be a cop. It was a long time ago, but I was a cop for 10 years in Houston. I'll let you know right now. Yeah? They let anybody be a cop in Houston. They let me be a cop, they let you be. You can go right now, they'll hire you tonight. I was there 10 years before I realized that that was the worst job in the world. Ain't no job worth dying for. Now, if you're fighting for this country, that's a different story, but ain't no city job worth dying for. <laughs> Not a job where the mayor sign your check. That ain't the one to go out on, that's all I'm saying. When I went to police academy, I shouldn't even got accepted. I was too little, but they didn't care. They hired me anyway. I was 138 pounds soaking wet. My gun weighed half the weight that I weighed. It was a Smith & Wesson stainless steel 686, 357 Magnum. Beautiful gun, but it weighed a ton. When I put it on my hip, it automatically made me lean to the right. I had to walk like that for two weeks till I got that first check and get that big flashlight, shove it on the other side, and I could stand up. And I was the man then, baby. But I didn't really look like a cop, because my waist, I had a 28-inch waist. My waist was so little, I couldn't even put all the stuff on there. You know when you see cops, their hair like they, their uniform and all their stuff be proportioned. You, they had like their bullets, then a space, then their gun, then a space, and like their handcuffs, then a space, and some other stuff I don't know nothing about, and a space. Well, all my stuff was touching. <laughs> I looked like I had on a child charm bracelet. It was just <laughs> freeze. They let me be a police anyway. I mean, one time, I was finally out the academy. I was working on my own, working a side job, moonlight, making that moolah on the side. 20 bucks an hour. Simple job, walking the parking lot of a rap club. How could any moron screw this up? I'm walking in the parking lot at a rap club in Houston, and I see a dude smoking weed in the parking lot. Doing my job, I say, hey, man, you can't smoke that weed in the parking lot. And he said to me, F you, except he used all the letters. <laughs> so I looked down to make sure I had my uniform on. <laughs> if I had on my pajamas, it would explain why he was being so rude. <laughs> so then I done what I know you're never supposed to do, but I did it anyway, because I was out there by myself. And you know you're never supposed to do this. I took my gun out and I said, hey man, I said, you can't smoke weed in this parking lot. You know what he did? He walked up to me and grabbed my wrist and slowly began to turn my wrist around until where well, my gun was pointing directly at me. So now, I'm looking at my own gun, <laughs> looking at me. Then his friend grabbed him and said, man, come on, man. Leave that dude alone. And I grabbed my gun and I snatched it. And I said, hey, man, you know what? You better take him. Because we was about to bust a cap in my ass. <laughs> he went on his way, and I went on my way, and I think, like, wow. Looking back, I could have died that day trying to stop somebody doing what I do now every single day. <laughs> Ooh, be careful what you believe in. You live long enough, you might change those beliefs.